I'm Lindsay Mohovitz, a postdoctoral researcher here at Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens. We are in the African forest where we are doing unique research with the primates we have in our collection. The African forest opened in 2018 with research and wellness at the forefront of the exhibit design. We built in choice, challenges, and variation, which are all fundamental to wellness-inspired exhibit designs. With our exhibit, the Kapok tree provides multiple opportunities for species-specific behaviors. There are portals along the trunk, so the animals that have access to the tree can forage for food. There's also vertical height with the tree for climbing purposes. There's also a window in which we can interact with the animals through training or a touchscreen computer system. The Kapok tree is linked to a series of trail systems which was designed to provide, var provide variation in the animal's days and it allows them to visit other parts of the system randomly. The trail system is connected to the bonobo and gorilla night houses. For the bonobo night house, they have biofloors, which provides them with natural substrate to walk on, which is really good for bones and joints, especially for our older animals. The exhibits themselves have large windows that are on eye level, so the animals can choose whether or not they want to interact with guests or go to a different part of their habitat away from the guests. The apex unit was part of this design as well. In gorilla viewing, there's a window panel where the animals have the opportunity to work on the computer during the time that they're on exhibit. All of the components that went into the African forest design were wellness inspired and helps us to achieve our wellness efforts. Wellness begins with an understanding of the preferences and needs of the animals in your care and achieving optimal wellness would mean that your animals are thriving. So going beyond just the basic needs of the animal. Our team is in charge of the welfare assessments, which is a new AZA accreditation standard and it requires accredited institutions to have a comprehensive process for evaluating, assessing, and improving the lives of the animals in their care. So with these assessments, we are able to create action items and much of the research we've done in wellness and are continuing to do in wellness are brought up from these action items to improve the wellness of our animals. We received the Apex unit in the fall of 2018. In simple terms, it's a touch screen that the animals can interact with and they get rewarded. It allows us to provide them choice and provide them mental stimulation and it gives us information about their behavior and abilities. So on the animal side of the unit is a touch screen that they interact with. If they touch a certain part of the screen, they can get rewarded in three ways. One is a food reward that dispenses automatically. Another is through a chime sound and also they see a green light that goes around the edges. If the task has an incorrect option, so if they touch something that they're not supposed to, there's also other reinforcement that tells them that they're wrong. So they'll get a red light instead of a green light and they'll get a different sound. I came to the zoo in August of 2020 and my background is in animal behavior and cognition. So my degrees are in animal behavior and cognitive science and most of my research, if not all of it, has been heavily primate focused. So this position was a perfect fit. So our initial goals were to promote optimal wellness for our animals and that continues to be our goal and will be our goal from this day forward. We will promote optimal wellness by providing choice, mental stimulation and learning about these abilities in the animals in order to provide better care. Another goal of ours that will continue is to provide educational opportunities for our guests and we can do this through the panel in the Gorilla Viewing where we can engage the animals on the apex unit as well as the window in the Kapok tree. The biggest benefit is promoting optimal wellness and that's through providing variation and choices in our animal states and by providing these options we can learn about the preferences of animals which can help us take better care of them so for example we can determine what their preferences are and how they change over time which can help with cooperation during husbandry training behaviors that is necessary in order for us to determine whether our animals are healthy. By learning about their cognitive abilities, we can better understand their needs and in order to provide optimal care to them, it's 
vital that we understand the animals that we're actually working with. Providing optimal care and wellness is a goal of Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, but it's not just our goal, it's the goal of other zoological institutions as well. Primate cognition is kind of a two-sided coin. You have certain species that have been extensively studied, so we know quite a bit of information on them, but then there are other species on the other side of the coin that we know very little about. We have a unique opportunity here at the zoo because we have species that fall on both sides of the coin. So we will be able to determine their abilities in general, but how they differ from those other animals that are more extensively studied. Right now, our gorillas and one mandrel are using the apex unit, uh, primarily based on the research question. But hopefully soon, we'll have more animals working on it, such as the rest of the mandrels, bonobos, and potentially the other primates that live here in the African forest. The animals overall have reacted to the machine really well. There are generally interested individuals, some more than others, um, and a few who are not so interested in the machine, but you know, it's all about choice. So if they choose not to participate in the Apex program, that's their choice and that's fine with us. So we've just been tapping away at the tip of the iceberg with the research we're doing here so there's a lot to learn but so far the biggest thing is that individuals are definitely different which anybody who works with animals probably already knows that but for the future we hope to learn more about what their preferences are uh, so that we could provide them with optimal care as well as determining what abilities they do have what differences there are so that in turn can help us as well with providing optimal wellness for the animals in our collection. Thank you for listening about how we are aiming to provide optimal wellness to our animals and how research plays a role in doing that. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to learn more about what's happening at Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens.